guys, today we are going to do our sourdough bread. It is going to be a fresh ground sourdough bread. So we're actually going to start by grinding our flour. I use a mix of red hard wheat and white hard wheat. Alrighty, so with this recipe, we are going to start out by weighing 307 grams of all natural yeast starter that was already made with equal parts water and flour. Now we are going to start adding our 1,025 grams of sifted flour. Next up is 717 grams of water, and I found that that gives me good hydration in this bread. Mix it all up. Now this dough will not stick to your hands quite like a regular all-purpose flour would. That gets very, very sticky. This does not. Just cover it up with your muslin cloth and let it sit for 40 minutes so that way it has the ability to suck up all the liquid. Now we're going to add the salt. With this, we're only going to add 20 grams of salt. We're going to add a little bit of water on top of that so we can mix it in a little bit better. Now here what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. We're going to stretch it all the way out as far as we can get it. Then we're going to fold the bottom half up into the middle, the top half down on top of that. Then you're going to take your sides, bring them into the middle, so just opposing sides. Then you're going to roll it up into a ball, and you're going to stick it back in your bowl and let it sit for 30 minutes. Yeah, so the second stretch and fold is going to be exactly the same as the first, but we're going to roll it up, put it in the bowl, we're going to let it sit for 40 minutes, and then we're going to do the third one, let it sit for 40 minutes. Now on the fourth one, that's when we're going to be splitting our dough in half. We're going to make sure it's equal parts. When you do your very last stretch and fold, and you just go ahead and you get your muslin cloth. You're going to put it over both of the balls that you have set to the side, and you're going to let those rest for 20 minutes. Once they rest, that's then when you're going to actually be rolling them up, getting them ready to prepare into your bread pans. This doesn't have to be any certain way that you do this. Um, I personally just roll it up and if I don't feel that the top is tight enough, I'll pull it back and roll it even tighter and roll it up and pinch it off with my fingers and then I'll just go ahead and set it into the tin. Now you're going to go ahead, you're going to stick it into the bags and tie them up. And I personally allow this to sit for three hours, if not more sometimes. My family likes a real sour sourdough when other people may not like it that sour. I like it to rise up in the pan just a little bit before the top of the pan. That's when I'll put it into the fridge. This here is the next morning. What I'm going to do is take a razor blade. I'm going to cut the top of it down. You want to do it on about a 45 degree angle. You're going to preheat your oven at 450. When it's good and hot, then you're going to bake it for 40 minutes and you're done. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.